Hey, I'm Lorelei, registered dietitian nutritionist. Welcome to my kitchen. So in my family, we have a Christmas tradition where everybody makes an appetizer to share. And then when it comes to dinner, instead of having a big meal, we just do something really kind of light and simple like soup. It's a lot of fun because everybody gets to make something and bring something and it's a little bit different every single year. But the thing is, appetizers tend to be a little high in calories and a little low in nutrients. So today I wanted to try to create a festive holiday appetizer that has a little bit of a boost in the nutrition so you can still feel good about eating it even if it's an appetizer. <laughs> I got a little bit creative and I'm gonna today show you how you can make some really Christmassy flatbread pinwheels. I've seen a bunch of YouTube videos about how you can make your own flatbreads using flour and just sweet potato or just potato. So I tried it and it's actually really great and I am in love with finding new ways to make things out of whole food ingredients. So that's what I'm going to show you today, but I'm going to give it my own little boost because I really wanted to go Christmassy. I thought, okay, well, we could do a sweet potato flatbread. It's kind of orangey. How could we make it red for Christmas? So I actually added a little bit of beet and then I thought, well, hey, how could I make a green flatbread? So I decided to use potatoes and spinach. You get these colored wraps at the store all the time, but generally they're artificially co colored and they're not whole grain. So if you make them yourself, you have a little bit more control over some of these things. I steamed up some sweet potato, some potato, some beet, and then I blended the sweet potato and the beet together. Mostly sweet potato, just a little bit of beet to add that color, give it that bright redness. And then I blended up the potato with some spinach. So we've got kind of red and green colored potato purees. And then we're gonna use flour, but I'm gonna use 100% whole wheat flour. And these are the only ingredients in these flatbreads. So I'm gonna use one part to one part. I'm gonna do a half a cup of whole wheat flour for one batch. So this is gonna be two batches, obviously. You can do one cup and one cup if you wanna make more, but I'm just gonna try to do a small portion of each since I'm doing two different ones. And then a half a cup of this Mostly sweet potato with just a little bit of beet in there to give it this bright red color. And you don't even have to add any water to these. The potato or the sweet potato is what's adding the moisture to this flour. And then you can kind of just mix it up. I would start with the spatula, but then once things get incorporated, you can move on to your hands. And the color really does go through it. I've got this extra puree, which I'll probably have to use for something else, or you can just eat it. Obviously, this is vegetables. Hand time. It's a pretty soft dough, and we can work with it right away. Flatbeds breads are kind of like tortillas. I, I don't know if I know the technical difference, but there's no oil or anything here in this flatbread. There's no leavening, so that's what makes it flat. There's no yeast, there's no baking powder or baking soda or anything like that. And we're just gonna cook it, I guess, on a dry skillet right on the stove. So these are quick. So once that's pretty mixed up, we can roll it out. I'm gonna make it into two flatbreads so we can make two rolls out of it. Split it in half. And obviously we're gonna flour the surface. So if it's really sticky, which mine is pretty sticky, use flour and that some of that flour is gonna get incorporated into your flatbread as well. And we just wanna roll it out into a nice round circle. And then roll. Probably not gonna be a perfect circle. Life isn't perfect. Food doesn't need to be perfect. Just needs to taste good. And hopefully nourish you, which is why we're focusing on getting some nutritious ingredients. So not only is this whole grain, but obviously we're also getting some sweet potato and some beet in here. Beet, the coloring that is in beets is an antioxidant and it actually has some really beneficial properties in the body. The flavonoid that create the pinky color is called anthocyanin. Get this as thin as you can. So it may spring back at you a little bit, but we want it really thin so that it's gonna be easy to roll up. Mm. 
And then when it's really nice and thin, we're gonna put it on um, just in a dry pan. So I've got a pan back here in my oven, but about medium, and it's gonna cook on both sides. Oh, I've got a little hole. And if it tears a little, it's not the end of the world. It'll just take a few minutes on each side. Sometimes it actually puffs up a little bit. You can flip it over, and if it's not done enough on one side, you can flip it back over. And then we'll repeat with the other red one, and then we'll move on and make the green, and we're gonna end up with four flatbreads total. And then we'll roll them all up and make the pinwheels out of them. This is a multi-step process because we're not only making pinwheels and making fillings to go in them, but we're also making the flatbreads. So it's a little bit of a project, but hopefully it will be a fun project. Okay, so once you've baked the flatbreads, then it's on to the assembly process. You probably do wanna do this while these are still warm. So I've kept them a little warm back here in a towel. We've got a red one and you can see some of the flour on the outside of it. So this is not, you know, it's not gonna be a perfect pristine red, but I think it will read Christmas. And for this one, I'm gonna use a tofu nut pate, and I did a recipe for this really recently. It's really tasty, but you could also use hummus. And we're just gonna spread this all over the, the flatbread here. And this is gonna help it everything stick and the whole thing to hold together when we roll it up. You can be generous, but you know, you don't wanna go crazy because we gotta put some other stuff in there too. And I was really focused on the red and green colors here. So I'm gonna go with some red and green things to put in. If you want stuff that's flat and flexible so you can really roll it into there. I'm just gonna start with a layer of baby spinach leaves. So I'm using today baby spinach. I'm using really thinly sliced cucumber. I'm actually gonna use basil and then I'm gonna use some sliced roasted red pepper. So I roasted my own red pepper by putting it in the broiler and then peeling the skin off of it and then slicing it. It's a really nice flavor that you get for roasted red pepper. Other things that I thought of using would be maybe like thin sliced roasted zucchini, or you could put like avocado in here as well, and that would be great. And then I'm gonna put the basil in as well, and I'm gonna kind of put this to make sure that every bite when we cut it is gonna get a little bit of basil. So I'm gonna just line this up. And then I'm gonna put on the red pepper. Because we're gonna roll it up like this and then cut it this way, you wanna kinda of make sure that everything is even across that way. <laughs> At least that's my, that's my goal. And then really thinly sliced cucumber because you want it flexible enough that this can roll up into here. We're not gonna roll it up like a burrito where you tuck in the sides. We're just gonna roll it, just a long kind of roll log. Roll it as tight as you can. I left a little bit of the pate at the end so that the end will hopefully, hopefully stick. And then you can refrigerate these for a little while before you slice them if you want to. I've got a couple cracks so you might get some leaks. It's not the end of the world. And then the idea is you just cut it and make little pinwheels. You can turn them on the sides and then you can see all the layers and colors inside. Let's see how it works. These ends are gonna be a little messy. It's okay, it is a snack for you. Okay. A really sharp knife would be good, but a serrated knife works okay. Yay! These are really pretty and colorful. You get the red and green rolled through. It's kind of like making your own sushi. Sometimes the rolls hold really well, and sometimes they don't. They maybe fall apart a little bit, but they're still gonna taste good. So just this one, I got eight little appetizer pieces, and then we'll do the other one, and then I've got the green ones to do as well. And then you just set them out like this. Got some veggies in there. The wrap is whole grain. And then I get to taste my part and see if it tastes good. 
Mm. The basil just jumps out at you. It's not too much though, but it's nice and creamy. The flatbread is kind of soft, but it is holding things together. Now for the green one, and this maybe doesn't look super green anymore, but there are some little flecks of spinach in it, so it's gonna give that impression anyway. I've made up a spread. The filling for the green roll-up is not vegan. We're gonna start with half a cup of plain Greek yogurt. And then we're gonna do half a cup or half a package of cream cheese, and I'm using light cream cheese. I feel like it's always a little bit of a compromise when you're creating a treat. You try to make some parts of it healthier, but you still want it to taste really good. So you have to kind of balance a little bit your efforts. I'm gonna just try to mix these up first with a fork and get them all kind of mushed together. I think that using Greek yogurt in partially in place of cream cheese in recipes is actually a great way to cut down on a little bit of fat perhaps. And you can also get a fair amount of protein in Greek yogurt. Although cream cheese is not protein free. If we used all Greek yogurt, it would be too soft. You just gotta get these to mix together. All right, and then we're gonna add some feta cheese. Yum. This is gonna add a little saltiness. I'm not actually adding any salt or seasoning to this. And then we're adding the red, so cranberries, and this is also such a good seasonal flavor. And then the green we're gonna add here is our green onions. This is also gonna add flavor to this so that it ends up being really nice and savory without having to use a bunch of salt. Mix this all up. This is a great dip all on its own that you could have it with like crackers or something like that. But we are going to wrap it up into the green flatbread and cut it that into pinwheels. And this is just one thing. We're just gonna spread this all over the whole wrap and then wrap it up. Be generous, but you wanna have, again, a thin enough layer that it's easy to roll the thing up. Wrap that up. Get it as tight as you can. And you might wanna actually chill this before you try to cut it. It might be a little easier to cut if it's cold, but I'm gonna go for it now. Peace for me. That's good, it's a really different flavor from the other one. So it's nice to have two things that they're the same type of food, but they have a really different flavor to them. This one's a little harder to cut through without squashing it because the filling is really soft. Hmm, see there you can see where like if you cut through a cranberry, that bright red just kind of peeks right through. So hopefully this gives you an idea of an appetizer that you can try. This doesn't have to just be for Christmas, of course. I just decided with the spirit of the season, I would go for those colors, but there's all sorts of other things you can put into rolls like this. And when you make your own flatbreads, it gives you a little flexibility and you can make them a little healthier than ones that you might just buy in the store. It's a bit of a project, but it could be a fun project. Hope you enjoy. Happy holidays. All right, well, Joe's back from a run. I'm gonna have him try these. Isn't it cold out there? It's not that bad. It's kind of sunny. Okay. Looks tasty. Looks right. colorful. Yeah, exactly. And that's kind of what we were going for here. You wanna try them? Sure. Yeah. It does have the tofu walnut pate in there. The taste test of Joe is sort of the most important part. <laughs> it's good, I like it. Okay, mm -hmm. and then this one's a different kind. You wanna try that one? Well, you gotta swallow first. Does it taste Christmassy? It tastes hors d'oeuvre Yeah, well, Pink that's the idea. Okay. What's in this one? That Let's one see is, if I can guess. yeah. Cream cheese, sour cream. No sour cream. There's yogurt. Okay. Cranberries. Mm-hmm. Hint of onion, like mm -hmm. onion dip. <laughs> Which one do you like? I like this one more. Okay. But do they They're look, both good. They're both do different. Do they look festive? They do look festive. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yay! All Lunch. right. Holiday orders. <laughs>